Yo, what's up, YouTube? Pixie up running guys from another Scare from Tarkov guide video. It's been a while since we've done a guide video, so I thought I would get one out fast for you guys. I don't want this one just to be too long. I just want it to be very simple, as my chat has requested me to make this video. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that like to play labs, but actually don't know all the spawns. And I don't think anyone's covered the spawns. So, we're going to break into that. I'm going to try and make it as simple as possible for you guys. So, first of all, we're going to start in the basement. As you can see right here, we've just spawned. Uh, there's not really a name for the spawn. I guess it's just the basement spawn next to parking. Uh, some people have a name for it, the pipe spawn. Uh, I mean, I guess that's what you can call it. But yeah, this spawn, two to three players can spawn here max. Um, if you guys didn't know, spawn points actually have a max limit on how many players can spawn there. Uh, that one, I'm pretty sure, is three max. So that's the first spawn of basement. I'm going to move on now around to parking. This is a very common spawn point right here. This is the parking staircase. Very common. Players run up from here, straight into there, and go, go into mid and etc, etc. So that is the second spawn of the basement. And then we're going to move our way on to the main spawn, which is what I like to call this spawn point. Um, so if you come right here, it's pretty rare, by the way. People don't typically spawn this uh, spot anymore, as the only time you really see this is when the lobbies are actually full. Like 10 players are on the map. But yeah, this is a spawn point, so make sure you guys keep that in mind. Right next to the main button right there. Uh, and then we're going to wrap around this way. This is like the red side of the map, by the way, guys, if you didn't know. Red side of the map basement. Uh, if you come all the way back here, not too many people know about this spawn point, but it's actually pretty common as well. This is the back sewer spawn right here. Big squads can also spawn here too. Now we're going to run all the way through sewers. Uh, this is another very common spawn point that people uh, spawn at. So, as you, as you see, you come all the way down the sewers tunnel. And then you come all the way around here. And the spawn point is right here, guys. This one's pretty common. Uh, you'll spawn here a lot when the lobbies are full. And sometimes you'll spawn here randomly too when they're dead, but it's very rare if they're dead. Usually you get this when this is a full, a full lobby spawn. Uh, just a little trick for you guys as well. If you press this button right here, press the pump. If you come over here, activates the extraction. It takes one minute for the water to drain, and then you can leave the raid. Just a little trick if you didn't know about that, as I feel like a lot of people that play labs currently don't know about the sewer spawn extraction. Very safe, risk-free, and once you're in there, man, it's so hard for people to push you because you're on such a good angle. So that is another spawn in the basement. I'm going to move on to the remainder of the spawns now. Now we're moving on to the chat spawn, which is what a lot of people like to call it. Personally, I call this on the manager spawn point, as managers is right above us. Uh, player spawn right here, right there, right here. All along this area, this is where people spawn. Make sure you keep your uh, eye on that. Just a little trick as well for you guys. If you come into boiler, you can actually hear if someone's pressed sewers from across the map. As you can hear this big like fan turbine thing spinning, this is an indication that someone's pressed the button. You can also press O as well if you can uh, if you want to see it visually, but it's a good audio cue for you to pay attention to when playing the map. Uh, you can also hear this inside black room as well, guys, just so you know. Now, this is the under blue staircase spawn, pretty common. Uh, people spawn right here, walk all the way up, go up blue staircase, and there's another spawn there. We'll go on to that spawn after in a second. We're going to finish off the basement. Now, if you follow this hallway all the way down to O, if you guys didn't know this is G, go all the way down to O down here. There is a spawn point right behind these double doors. Also, a very common spawn point is right here. Uh, this is right next to the O button. If you open this door, go in, press the button, and it opens up this extraction right here. Uh, I will be making a full Ultimate Labs guide, guys, with absolutely everything, including elevators, tips and tricks, audio cues, and stuff like that. Uh, just not right now as I'm a bit busy, but I promise it will be coming soon. So that is pretty much the basement spawns guys in total I think there's around eight spawns now. We're going to move our way on to the remainder of the spawns and labs So first of all green staircase come on in Players can spawn right here And players can spawn right here Pl Players that do spawn here by the way are always in teams if they spawn in this location uh, But you can spawn on either third or second staircase now we're going to move our way down to blue staircase, guys. So that was green. So you're coming down this back of black. This is black room right here. I call this back of black. Get to black tents, blue tents. Come all the way down. On the right is blue room right here. Now you have two spawns you need to pay attention for. This is a spawn point here in the staircase right there. Right here. And also at the very top of the staircase as well. Big squads like to spawn here as well. As the, I guess the game just likes spawning people there. Very common when the lobbies are full. Thing to keep in mind for is right here, guys. Because there's a spawn that is very close. If you get either one of these spawns on a full lobby, you're probably going to be fighting each other off the rip, which is really nice. So just make sure you pay attention to that. As there probably will be a play there. 
this is another spawn point right here guys this is the spawn i'm telling you about got a nice little angle here you can get many different angles on the staircase if you want to so that that spawn if you do get it guys try and get cover straight away it's pretty pretty risky spawn and uh, i don't like it a lot at all so yeah that is the staircase spawns and the back of dome spawn we're gonna move our way onto server spawns now So as we progress through server, we come on in like so, all the way around here, come down these stairs, and the spawn point is right here. Uh, obviously, if you're pushing for PvP, it's good to know about this. Um, if you're coming from like Chad spawn, for example, people typically like to run straight from here, come down, and then kill people that spawn here. Uh, obviously, you can go into server, or you can go through hangar. Uh, in this case, we're going to go through hangar, and I'm going to show you the spawn closest to this. So now we're approaching uh, underneath kitchen now, coming up kitchen staircase. Uh, right here is a kitchen spawn, very common as well. Uh, we call this kitchen because it's right next to it, as you can see. And then if you wrap all the way around here, guys, there's another spawn back here too, which is very, very common. You're going to see a lot of five-man squad spawn here on labs, a lot of them. So if you're into PvP, make sure you push this straight away, as this is the spawn point here, guys. And we're going to wrap ourselves through bridge. All the way along here. And as you come down this staircase next to Red Room, there is a spawn point right here in front of the elevators. Uh, this spawn used to be kind of rare, but it happens quite often now, so make sure you keep that in mind. If you do spawn here, be wary of parking, and be wary of Red Room. Try and get yourself in this office area here, underneath Red, and then play play however the way you want to play the game. Uh, but yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. That is the Labs Player Spawn Guide. I hope this video was helpful to you. To you, If it was helpful to you, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on notifications, that would be amazing. Obviously, the important ones are liking, commenting, and subscribing. You don't have to turn notifications on if you don't want to. But like I said, if it helped you, there'll be more guides coming soon. And I also post raid content, too, where I do, like, viewer kits, meme stuff, and just, you know, just general talk of things like that. So, yeah, guys, I hope you guys have an amazing evening. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for all the support. I appreciate you guys. Uh, if you want to come check us out on Twitch, we stream at Twitch every single day. Twitch.tv slash ticks with a Z. And have an amazing evening, guys.